hope, optimism, enterprise, and freedom. These are the values that drive human progress, and they are vital to the human spirit. The U.S. Pavilion at World Expo 2005 brought these values to life. The result was a model effort in public diplomacy, economic development, and cultural exchange, a true testament to America's role as a leader in the global community. In 2005, the world gathered in Aichi, Japan for the first World's Fair of the 21st century. 121 countries and more than 22 million visitors would take part in Expo. But after an eight-year absence from the World's Fair, the United States needed to do more than just participate. Organizers of the U.S. Pavilion sought to show the world what makes America great. And to make an important statement about the future, America turned to a figure from the past. Benjamin Franklin has figured out a way to harness the power of electromagnetism, which will enable him to materialize at the pavilion in Aichi. When you visit the exposition, you will see Ben Franklin there, once again, representing the United States of America and the American people, to the people of Japan and to the people of the world. Greetings, citizens, scientists, and explorers of 2005. Well, we think we connect very nicely with the theme of this expo, Nature's Wisdom. Um, and we do that primarily through Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin was, in his time, one of the most uh, prominent scientists. Is it not nature who shows us you can power an entire planet with nothing but the rays of the sun? And when the lights came up, the pavilion gave visitors an opportunity to explore the fruits of American innovation. And then you walk into the American Journey Gallery, and the first thing you see is the flight. And you see how far we've come from our first moon rock that we brought 35 years ago to the World's Fair, and now we're showing them the Mars rover and down feeds from the Mars rover and the Cassini Huygen. And it explains to people that Americans dream, we dream big, and then we go out and do what we dream about. The U.S. Pavilion quickly became one of the most talked about pavilions of Expo 2005. In two regional surveys, it ranked number one in popularity among national pavilions at Expo. I really thought this was the best one. Really, really cool show. As the word got out about the American Pavilion, attendance grew and grew until two million people walked through its doors, smashing all expectations. But the U.S. brought more than the Franklin spirit to Expo 2005. We celebrated our national day with hometown fanfare. We brought the New York City Opera, Sesame Street, and a major motion picture world premiere. We shared in our pastimes. We shared the unique cultures of our states. And our pavilion guides gave the world a true taste of American hospitality. But Expo proved to be more than a place for promoting culture and entertainment. It was a place to cultivate business opportunity. We had two different parts of the U.S. Pavilion. Downstairs, we focused on public diplomacy, but upstairs, we do business. We've had 19 state delegations, eight of which are led by governors, and we also have 56 corporate sponsors who have been holding events there. Our goal is job creation, economic development, and business development. This is the first time that the United States participation has been funded 100% by non-federal dollars, and that is the strength of this particular program. And we know for a fact, based on the calls that we've already gotten from our different states and our different governors, that jobs have been created because of World Expo, because of the people getting together, and we develop business relationships that will enable us all to stay together and work together for years to come. World Expo proved to be a prime business development opportunity for states and for U.S. companies. The venue was outstanding. The organization of the Expo was done very well. And it really gave Kentucky an unprecedented opportunity to display what we can do for businesses in, in the area of economic development. He said it's not only going to be Japan, but it's going to be people from all over Southeast Asia. It's not only going to be an opportunity to show your goods and to meet your competitors and to meet your customers. It's going to be an, an opportunity to explain to people who you are in these very complex times. Uh, I think the CEOs that went there came home enriched and positive 
the reaction around the world, the opportunities that we had far went beyond our expectations. It was a great honor for us to do it. It was a smart thing for us to do. From entertainment to education to public diplomacy and economic development, U.S. participation in Expo 2005 showed the world what makes America great. The U.S. participation at the World's Fair was a success because of the people that were involved. We worked closely with my colleagues at the Department of State. In particular, the embassy was fantastic for the support that they provided us. And then where would we have been without our corporate sponsors and our state partners? And last but not least, we had an incredible staff with the U.S. Pavilion. Doug West and the private sector staff that he pulled together worked tirelessly to make this a success. And we received compliments from so many people that our pavilion made people feel at home and that they understood America, they understood American values. And from meeting our staff, they did walk away with a sense of optimism because this was a staff that was communicating how they felt about their country, but also how they felt about working together with other people to make wonderful things happen. It made me feel proud to be from the States, actually. I was really impressed. It really puts America in a great light. Going to Aichi, Japan for this expo uh, was a very important step for the United States. You visit the American pavilion and you're going to think a little differently about America. That we are concerned about people. We are concerned about the health of the globe. We are concerned about transportation. I'm happy that it was a positive type of presentation on the part of the United States. The U.S. pavilion has proven to be one of the most popular pavilions uh, uh, among the foreign government pavilions, thanks to the efforts on the part of our friends in the United States. Uh, this dream came true. And as a result of this uh, participation of the United States, the alliance between our two countries will be further confirmed and promoted. I'm very, very glad. We have been successful in creating uh, a show that, that brings the spirit of America to Japan. We're proud to be here on behalf of the United States. It's important that we did this.